Oh my God, it is the most controversial video of the year. It is five reasons why you should not buy the brand new iPhone 8. So as with every iPhone, I do come out with this video. I think I only create this series strictly for iPhones. It's where Apple fanboys go nuts. A lot of people say you're an idiot. But hey, I still think these are pretty valid reasons in case you're just on the fence whether you should grab the brand new iPhone. There's a couple extra reasons this year. Let's kick things off with number one. First off is the design. This is the 8 Plus. This is the 7 Plus. If you kind of just glance at them quickly, you wouldn't know the difference other than this has a glass back. This has an aluminum back. This should technically be called the 7S, 7S Plus. And I'm not too sure why Apple decided to skip a generation in naming mechanisms. For whatever reason, we've skipped the 7S and now we just have the 8. To me, to everyone else out there, it is still the 7S. It is still the 6SS, 5SSS. The design hasn't changed. It's still exactly the same as it has been for the past couple of years. That isn't necessarily a bad thing, but especially with phones now in 2017, even last year, we see edge to edge displays on the likes of the Galaxy S8, LG G6, and the old iPhone design just seems dated, archaic, grandpa-ish. It's old looking. No one likes old looking things. I'm getting old. Damn. Number two is the fact that the iPhone X 10, iPhone 10 is coming out in less than a month away. And with that very fact, they're coming out with a brand new design. They're going edge to edge. It does have that dirty little chin, forehead, whatever you want to call it, but it is an updated design. And with the fact that we're getting a brand new iPhone, the 10, the 8 just doesn't seem to make sense. And there's a couple things going in my mind when I picked up my iPhone 8 this morning. The line was just non-existent. I think I was the only one there, maybe five, six other people. It has just been the lowest hyped iPhone, whereas everyone has their eyes on the prize, which is the iPhone 10, which is why you should probably wait and kind of pass over the iPhone 8, which leads me to the next thing which is the price. This is where I start to get really confused. The pricing, they've increased the price from the seven to the eight, but the weird thing is the eight to the 10, we're kind of getting lost in numbers here, there isn't too big of a price difference. In my opinion, if you're looking to drop close to $1,000 on the phone, an extra $100 to grab the 10 isn't too big of a difference. And this is where I think Apple kind of messed up. I think they should have priced the eight cheaper than what the seven was. Obviously bump those lower models down. If we have the eight introing at 550, 600, is that, is that too far of a stretch? And then maybe, you know, $50 more, 75 for the plus model. I think maybe then there would be a bit more hype around it, but the gap in pricing between the eight and the 10, it's too small. And I think for that reason alone, people will just gravitate towards the newest, latest and greatest the 10. Number four is the display. So despite the fact that the design hasn't changed, we do have new internals in the iPhone 8. It has the A11 Bionic chip. It's got the new and improved cameras, which I'm currently testing and I've been super impressed. Stay posted for my camera review. However, the displays on these guys, they're the same 4.7 and 5.5 inch for the 8 and 8 plus models respectively, but they don't have the new OLED display that's coming out on the iPhone X. And Trust me, I'm a big sucker for displays. If these had new panels, maybe you could justify spending that kind of money, but they're still the same HD 1920 by 1080, even lower res on the smaller model. Just kind of doesn't do it for me. Reason number five, you can probably tell I'm running out of ideas here. The colors of the new iPhones, it comes in three options, the black, silver as well as the new gold. Most people do end up getting the space gray, which I'm holding. To me, they seem a bit dull. Black has always been the most popular option, the space gray model, and they just seem a bit dull, dated, kind of goes with the overall theme of the new iPhones. I'm currently rocking the silver colorway. This is my favorite color option this year round. It's a chalkish finish. Reminds me of a Porsche, some high-end sports car finish. You can kind of tell that I'm running out of ideas over here, and if options one through four didn't convince you to buy the new iPhone, heck, you can be like me. 
I bought four of them. So obviously I can't keep a hold of all of these. And as we're making our way to 350,000 subs, let me know if maybe the new iPhone 8 or perhaps the iPhone X is a good idea as a potential thank you for a giveaway. Just let me know down below in the comments. Leave an idea why you would not grab the new iPhone 8s or maybe why I'm wrong and I'm an idiot and why you would grab them. Keep it civil. Keep it somewhat safe in the comments. I know these things can get pretty heated. I'll be sure to keep your guys' sub boxes filled with videos over the next couple weeks, and I will catch the rest of you in one of my next episodes or in one of my vlogs. Peace.